Yo, what's good? It's your boy Buck Chris in the building. Welcome to my channel. Buck plays no games. You know what's going down here. Yo, I'm going to go ahead and get my promotions out of the way. I normally do them at the end, but I'm going to do them right now. Your boy got a project out. Buck Chris, untitled. It's on Spotify, iTunes, uh, 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 Pandora, Amazon Music, YouTube Music. It's everywhere, man. Go check that joint out. Link below. Still got a project out with me and my boy Q Tao. Villains are people too. Link below also. Don't forget. Go check me out on Airbit, man. I got beats for you all day, man. Hip hop, boom bap, R&B, neo soul, all that good stuff. Go support your boy if you need some beats. Now, let's get back to the video. All right, so what this video is going to be about is uh, basically just, you know what I mean, some uh, on some inspirational type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Basically, to showcase, you know, yo, just cook up. Get in the studio cook up make beats i got these two beats pre-made right here that i made i made one last night and i made one like 45 minutes ago and basically what i've been messing around with i've been messing around with the idea of yeah just cook up just make beats you never want to force anything because when you force something it doesn't come out you're not you're normally not happy with the results so yeah basically yeah, just cook up. Just push your creativity, you know what I'm saying? Because that's basically what I've been doing, you know what I'm saying? So, of course, this baby right here, my MPC P61, is my main weapon of choice. And then I got my other baby right here, my SP404. And then my trusted dusted day one FL Studio with a mixture of ominous fear in the building you know what i'm saying and then this little bad boy over here that i hardly ever use but i put it to use last night and this morning and uh yeah it still works which is good <laughs> so yeah what i did was i basically put all my stuff to use except my sp404 um i'll make another video where i'm actually using like everything that i have in my arsenal including my sp404 but I left that out for this go round. So basically what I did with these two beats is I used my MPC Key 61 and FL Studio. So yeah, I pretty much just pushed my creativity and just, you know, see where uh, I was checking to see where it would take me. And you know what I'm saying? This first beat I'm gonna play for y'all is a beat that, you know what I mean? That's like out of my realm. I normally don't make beats like this. <laughs> But I rock with it heavy. I can hear somebody singing on it. Somebody would make a hit to it. I believe so. So let's get into it. All right. So I basically started out, you know what I'm saying? I just uh, was just browsing through sounds on the NPC Key 61. And I came across this pad in Fabric XL called Rod Pad. And I just randomly hit a B flat minor ninth chord that right there i thought it sounded pretty <laughs> so then i hit uh, uh another random chord i mean um i basically hit the four uh b flat is the four of uh one two three four of uh f minor so i went from b flat minor ninth to an F minor ninth. And I was like, ooh, that sounds like something. So I just was just playing with that. I like that and then i would continue to browse and i came across in uh the hype plugin uh fat bass four now i remember doing that right there and i was like oh automatically that sound like something right So <laughs> I was just messing with them two, you know what I mean? So yeah, I was just messing with them two, you know what I'm saying? I knew I wanted something else in there. 
something nice and sexy. I already already knew that it was gonna be a sexy beat, you know what I'm saying? So that nice little lush sound right there, I actually got out of FL Studio over there. So then it was time for some drums. You know, whatever, something like that. So yeah, I knew I wanted it to go something like that, right? So I came up with this. Again, this is out of my realm, you know what I'm saying? I don't normally make beats like this. But whenever I do open up my mind and just let my let creativity flow, you know, I just let it go. I let you know, I let it do what it do. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it like kind of kind of like uh not necessarily trap but kind of i mean the drums it kind of can be in the in the realm of trap like a trappish r&b r&b-ish type of beat but i was feeling like that this sounds like some especially when i added the little bells right there it sounded it felt like a like an island type of beat you know what i'm saying like it was gonna be in that realm. Yeah. So, then I thought, hmm, why would I turn it into an Afro-ish kind of beat? And it'd be like, Something of that realm, you feel me? Let's go ahead and go into song mode so y'all can hear the whole thing. Check it out. Again, holla at me if you need some Afro beats. If you need some R&B, that type of feel. Yo, I make them too. Boom Bap is my heart. Boom Bap and hip hop, that's my heart. Neo Soul, that's my heart. But you know what I'm saying? I try to, I try to uh, be open to all kinds of genres nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Why not? Hey. Hey. I got those bells also out of FL Studio. Fun part. Let's go. Hey, hey. Hey, hey.
is dope. That feel good, right? That feel good, right? And I knew I wanted to add some guitars in there too. Like a, like a little guitar sound, so check this out. Believe it or not, that's me playing, man. <laughs> Hey, hey. Oh yeah. I had fun making that one, man. All right, here's beat number two. The beat that I made about an hour ago. <laughs> so yeah. You guys ever came across a, a sound and um, it automatically just triggered something? Has that ever happened to you? Because that's what happened to me earlier, and this is the sound that I heard. Automatic. Automatically knew that I had to use that bad boy. Or I don't know. It, there's, like, listen to the bass in that, like, after... That sounds so dark, you know what I'm saying? And I just kept playing with it. That sounds so nasty, man. And I didn't even really know what, I didn't know what route I wanted to go with that, with this. Not at first. But the more that I kept listening to it, the more that I kept playing around with it, I was like, hmm, I'm kind of hearing like, like a drill type of beat. And I ain't, I ain't made drill beats in a while. <laughs> I've only made a couple, like a handful. But this is the the, the route that I took with this, uh, this sound right here. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, let me see. And yeah, I, I have my own pre-made uh, programs that's uh, chock full of uh, kicks, hi-hat, snares, and all that good stuff. And uh, that's basically what I came up with. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I laid that down first, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I did that. Laid that bad boy with a kick. You know what I'm saying? Also threw a rim shot in there, like a rim, a rim sound. Nice and echoey. And then, of course, this crazy bad boy. That sound is called Brain Ball. Don't ask me why. And then, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this. Like, normally, how I find the key of, like, sounds and samples and everything, I just throw a piano sound on here. But I wasn't sure if I wanted it to be in the beat, but the more that I kept playing around with it, 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 it I, I kind of rock with it. I rock with it, you know what I mean? So I stuck with it. This is basically what I did. That's just a regular old C minor. Right, to the fifth of C minor. You know what I'm saying? Then I get, then I freak it, go to B flat.
You know what I'm saying? So the song, the beat is in C minor, and it sounds like this. It don't sound like that. It sounds like this. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Yes, sir. That drill shit. For them young heads out there, I don't know what y'all be talking about. Super killer, but it's in a butt. It is in a butt, get a shot. In the butt, get a dinner butt. I've been getting for the center, but then the butt, and then the butt, get a butt. That type of cadence, you know what I'm saying? And to keep y'all your ears interested, I went up to the next key from C minor to C sharp. Check me out. To the F, A flat, and back to C sharp. Yeah. So yeah, I'll basically show you. So that's what I was doing in the first sequence. Uh-huh. Okay, but in the second sequence, I went up to C sharp. So C sharp, F sharp. C sharp, just regular. Yeah, I did like a little walk down. So. I didn't get that pretty. I just want to see what it sounded like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So let's do that again, because here's what I've learned recently and what I've been experimenting with and what you could probably experiment with is basically like when you're making beats, man, especially that trap, these new eight beats that's like out nowadays, like songs that's popular, like, you know, drill beats, or drill songs or shit, even R&B songs or just music in general. I don't know if you guys noticed, but have you noticed how in songs you can be listening to a song and in the same song the beat changes literally three times <laughs> but it's the same song like and what what is happening while you're listening to that to that song the where the beat switches three different times you're engaged with it it's like damn did 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 the song change or or, or is this an, a, another song nah it's the same song bro and it keeps you what it keeps you interested so again but all right check it out i'm gonna play the whole entire my whole entire idea i'm gonna start with the beginning you know what i mean again starts in c sharp i'm sorry it starts in c minor that right there. C minor. Staying in C minor. Kicks coming in. Ah. Yeah. See, this is one mode right here. You know what I'm saying? 
this is where I pushed my creativity last night. And you're just being different. I ain't really, I ain't never really just made beats like this before. I want to keep, you know, I've, I've basically been trying to focus on, you know, keeping people interested, you know, as they're listening to my beats, you know what I mean? This is one mode, this is, this is one room right here, if you will, you know what I mean? Think of this as the first room, you know what I mean? Sequence two is the next room. We walking up to the door, you know what I'm saying? We about to open that door. You know what I'm saying? We walking up the door, we turn the door now, we open up and then, this is a new room right here, you know what I'm saying? Now that sounds interesting, like you, you're intrigued. Cause like what's happening, like the sounds of this beat is taking you on a journey, you know what I'm saying? And that shit, that, I don't know about y'all, I mean, but, I mean, yeah, everybody likes that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? They like to be taken on a journey. Because if, if a beat just stayed the same the whole way through, it's like, it gets, it gets boring after a while, but then it gets like, you know, predictable and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Let's walk back out of this room, you know what I'm saying? Let's go to sequence three. Hold up. You know what I'm saying? Follow me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is a journey right here. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'll rock with this one, man. I, I, I don't usually be on my job. <laughs> but yeah, I'll rock with this one. If it's hot, it's hot, you know what I'm saying? If you feel it. Yo, let's go back in that room again. Yo, follow me. <laughs> That's cold. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, man. That's what I'm saying, man. Push, push for creativity every time. Like, like put, do stuff you ain't, you don't do stuff you don't normally do when you make beats. You know what I'm saying? And you'll come out happier with, and more satisfied with stuff that you do. You know what I'm saying? Like, just be creative, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't all about clicking and dragging and using all these all these plugins and all and AI, you know what I'm saying, that can just make chords for you. I mean, like, whoop-de-doo. I mean, what's so hard about, you know what I mean, spreading your fingers a little bit and... Is that how y'all play? Nah, man. Just spread your fingers a little bit and come up with, you know, little melodies. I mean, you just be creative. I mean, that, that's just me brainstorming and like just coming up, trying to come up with ideas and different ways to hit chords, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's just me playing around, but that is literally how I came up with these beats, you know what I'm saying? Just experimenting. 
that's what it's all about, man. I don't know, like, you know, I'm so, I'm, I'm not, like, I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm not for this AI stuff, because, I mean, I use AI to a extent. <laughs> but I don't use it in every single one of my beats, man. Like, let's not get lazy out here. But, hey, there's money to be made, and if you gotta fake it to make it, then whatever. <laughs> But I'm just trying to be as original as possible. And that's just me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't knocking anybody that uses AI on the regular, on the regular degular. But you know what I'm saying? That's just me. I'm just trying to push for, for everybody to, you know, try to remain a certain percentage of original and keep originality. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below what you think about these two beats of mine. Like, share, subscribe, share with a friend and all that. Let me know what you think of my content, man. This has been your boy, Buck Crizzle, man. We in the building. We gonna stay in the building. Buck plays no games, man. And we out.